in here. Oh, Heshi. Hi, Heshi. You got on there. I don't think she can hear me yet. Okay, well, welcome to our uh, team training uh, tonight. We are going to talk about several different things. And so, but I want to start out with anybody, uh, you know, whatever, any successes that you've had this week. I want you to kind of unmute yourself in the bottom left hand corner of your computer and, and jump out and tell us uh, from any aspect that you want. Uh, let us know, um, you know, how things are going this week, okay? So don't be shy. Just jump out here. And uh, I know a couple of you can, can uh, have a few shout outs. Hey, Rick, I lost 10 pounds since December 31st. Wow. He's that is fantastic. Yeah. That is fantastic. Are you so you're doing? Uh, are you following the, just Slender Ice in the uh, from the booklet that comes with Slender Ice? Or are you following Tim's three X program? I'm doing just the Slender Eyes. I'm not following, you know, to the T, but I'm I'm trying to eat a lot cleaner than what I used to. Well, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Congratulations. Appreciate yeah, it's it. Amazing what that uh, what the stuff does. I've been on it and I've actually lost ten pounds in the past two or three weeks. So yeah, it's uh, it's exciting. Okay, yeah. other, uh, some other uh, uh, successes. Daryl, Daryl signed up an elite, uh, ultimate pack recently, right? <laughs> Congrats to him. Yes, we did today. That was excellent. Yeah. Just trying to get him on, uh, on here. <laughs> on the call here, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe my email mind went out before he got on the list. So no, he, he's just trying to, he's new to it. Just trying to figure it out. So okay. On any second. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to welcome him when he comes on. Okay. Who else? I know, uh, uh, Elaine and, and, uh, I am me over in, in, uh, and, uh, let's see, uh, I lost my train of thought. In Canada. Yeah, in Canada, but British Columbia, Vancouver area. <laughs> <laughs> They've had some uh, new people come on. I don't see Ayami here, but Ayami, she's already lost 13 pounds in one month after the Slender Ice program. Wow. Yeah, I know. She looks good. She me, sent me a before and after pictures. They look great. Yeah. And we've also signed, we're both gold statuses now because we've found um, four reps. Great. Congratulations. For the, the eight weeks. <laughs> And we're going to talk about that a little bit tonight as we go along because I have uh, something to talk about on that. But, yes, that's, that's fantastic. Congratulations to both of you guys. Thank you. Okay, anything else? Any other uh, – anybody have any comments about anything? Anybody have any questions uh, so far or uh, this past week that uh, you've run across that you'd like to uh, maybe address, talk about, chat about it at all? Share? Has she anything from you? You were kind of a, a warrior in the snow there going to uh, North Carolina. <laughs> she, her, video, her video must be froze up there. Let's see over here. Yeah, I don't see. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Let me open the chat box here because I've seen somebody put in a chat box. Um, um. Rick Heshi just texted me and she's she can't get the audio. She's okay. The audio. She's trying, okay, that's fine. Okay. Well let's see. Let's um let me start off with a couple things here. And um one thing is that I I want to talk to you a little bit about a, some a couple resources. One of uh, which is let me share my screen here, is this right here. It's uh called Darren's Daily. Now, uh, Darren Hardy, the gentleman that you see here on the screen, he is actually the owner of Success Mag the publisher of Success Magazine. He's been in network marketing for, you know, the industry for a long time. He's an advocate of the industry, and he's got these daily mentoring. Um, uh, you can get them in a text or an email. They're like a little four or five minute uh, mentoring thing, and, and, and it's real interesting the way he's doing this, and and, and I say that I think everybody should sign up for this via text or email. Sign up for it. If you don't like it, then, then just hit stop and get out of it, opt out of it. But you need these things on a daily basis. People need these things. I need them. Everybody needs these kind of tips that he gets because 
I'm a person that feels that, you know, if you're in business, if you're an entrepreneur for yourself, you should have the attitude that you'll never, ever stop learning. Okay. I don't believe I'll ever stop learning. I enjoy learning. There's nothing that really stumps me online. There's nothing that stumps me technology wise. I love a challenge and, uh, and you just work yourself through it. And so, you know, things like this with these mentoring tips and stuff like that, they're just great little doses of consistent things that he puts out five days a week. And I can tell you right now, as you consume these things on a daily basis, your mind will change. You will change your personal development. Your things that you do will change, okay? When you realize that Darren is no different than you or me, okay, in that, you know, he might be different in his financial success because he's just done things. The people that are succeeding are just doing more things um, to make them succeed, make them successful, okay? And that's very important. You know, we're going to talk about a couple more things here as we go along. So I just wanted to, to give you this tip. It's a, it's a great little um, website. So just go to darrendaily.com, darrendaily.com, and it's going to, you'll opt in, text or email. I do, I do both of them. And so I'll get it on my phone. I'll get an email and, you know, they're great little mentoring tips, Okay. Um, there's several different, um, um, resources we can tap into. Eric Worre's great. I like, uh, Simon Chan's podcast. I, I have several podcasts on here. I mean, when I say several, there's probably about, uh, you know, six or eight. And the thing I like to do every day is I put my headset in, I get my iPhone and I take and, uh, turn the podcast on, I pick one and I go take me a walk. And that's how I do my walk. I usually do it in the middle of the afternoon sometime. And I just go walk for 20, 30 minutes. And then I come back around. And somebody calls me, you know, and, and I'm on my walk. I talk to them, okay, and, and so on. So I'm not missing nothing. But the thing about it is you got to constantly feed your mind, you know, positive things on a daily basis. It, it's, it's vitally important to the success of building a, building a business. Um, so let me see. Let me ask who um, who used our flip chart that we showed last week. Who practiced it or used it actually in a presentation this past week? Anybody? Unmute yourself if you uh, if you had, and you give a shout out here. Did did anybody print it out? Uh, me and Eileen used the presentation last Saturday. Okay, great. How did it go? Oh, it went well. Um, oh. Although. Unfortunately, we don't have um, like the guests that we've expected you to. Some canceled last minute, but we yep. have like two guests. And yeah, we've showed a presentation and I was able to sign up one distributor. That's great. That's great. Congratulations. Thank you. It, it, it works. It works. Okay. And, and so, um, and we're going to talk about that a little bit more. Anybody else use the presentation? Anybody else have questions about the presentation? And everybody knows where the presentation's at and where to download it, right? Okay. So let me shift and ask you, does everybody understand that they can go on a nine-day cruise next year? All expenses paid from RX. How many, a show of hands, how many people would like to go on a cruise? For two, for two, all expenses paid. For two, yeah. For two, that would be probably what? Uh, all expenses paid nine days, probably, I'd guess it, flight, everything. I'd put it at about 4,000 bucks probably. It would cost to do that, a couple thousand a piece. Well, RX is gonna pay for it for you. And all you have to do is generate $5,000 in base commission the first six months of the year over what you did the last six months of the year. So let's say that you're, if you're brand new, you have a zero basis right now. But let's say that you've been in for a while. RX takes the last six months out of the year, and let's say you made $10,000 in base commission. If you make $15,000 in the first six months, you qualified for one cruise. $5,000 more than the 10 you made. If you make 19,000, 
you qualify for two cruises. So it's 5,000 or 9,000 over what you made the first half, of the first part of the year. And they've already announced they're going to run it on the second half also. So you got two chances. Okay. I qualify for two cruises each time, but they're only going to, I mean, two trips to Cancun each time, but they only give you one, <laughs> one set, I should say. They don't give you four. Okay. But it's pretty exciting because, you know, if you're involved in a company that you could actually go on a nice vacation every year, every year. I mean, you should, you should, in your mind, you should set that as a goal to say, I'm going to go on every vacation that RX has completely paid every year. Why not? Okay. All it takes is work. Okay. Now, I hope you didn't get in this business just to make $5,000 in a year. I hope you got into business to make more than that. Okay, I hope you got into business to make 20, 30, 40,000 a year. Okay? Folks, it can be done. It can be done a month. Okay? It, yes, it takes time, but it does take, you know, you know, effort, okay? And so we're going to talk about that because what I'm going to do is talk to you about and I'm going to mute everybody a second here to keep it audio clean, is I want to talk about um, five basic keys to success. And you should write these down, okay? I'll tell you, you know, they're, they're in a place that you can find them, but you should write these down. These should be things you do the rest of your life. You should think about these five things. They're not complicated. They're basic strategies to success. Number one is take action. Because, see, if you never take action, it's the first thing you have to do to succeed in business. You know, there's a lot of people that, that talk about doing something, but they never do it. They just, they, they, they talk, they just don't take action. You kind of got to get out of your own way sometimes. And you just got to do it. Who cares what anybody thinks of what you're going to say or do? It doesn't matter. You know, sometimes you got to psychologically think, if, if this is the only thing I had to put food on my table for my family, what would I do today? Would I go out and take action with, with uh, you know, and do something? You take an action, you'll, you'll become successful when you take action. Okay? You know, Iami and, and Eileen, they, they start doing meetings. And, and yep, yeah, maybe only, and Daryl also are doing meetings every week, every Thursday. And if there's only two people there, it doesn't matter. He still does it. Okay. I think one of his first meetings, he only had one person there. Okay. You still go through it because it's that practice. Because again, practice makes you better. It doesn't make you perfect. Nobody's perfect. It makes you better. Okay. Perfect practice would make you perfect, I guess. Okay. Number two is don't fear failure. Look how many times Michael Jordan missed the basket and how successful it was. Look at baseball players that, that bat a 300. What does that mean? They hit three out of 10 balls. That's a th and they make millions of dollars batting a 300. That means they strike out seven times to get up to bat. But if they never got up to bat and never tried and swung the bat, okay? So you can't be afraid of failure. You will always make mistakes. That's okay. So long as you can learn from the, those mistakes. And I can tell you I have some pretty doggone expensive mistakes. In my past career in photography, I have spent thousands of dollars on things that I, that I made a mistake on. And I look back on it, and at the time, you know, I didn't know that I should have did this. But it's easy to look back on hindsight and say, well, God, if I would have did this, this, and this, I would have made it. But you learn from that, and you do it better next time. You know, there's a lot of trial and error that has to happen on your path there. There's too many people that try, fail, and give up. They try, fail, and give up, and, and you can't give up. you got to keep going forward. There's advantages to failure, you know. I love learning, and, and I do things. I say, well, that didn't work, okay? 
But if I can look at it objectively, talk with somebody else sometimes and say, hey, how should I do that? How should I word that? Do you have any ideas for me? And you try it again until you succeed. But if you try it enough, Look at Thomas Edison with the light bulb. How many times? He said, I just tried 10,000 times that, that didn't work, you know, or however that saying was. But he, 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 it, it succeeded one time, okay? So you, you just have to learn from your mistakes. Number three, stay focused, okay? Stay focused. The, the most powerful thing you can do is stay focused on something until you learn it. Kind of like, you know, learn a task about if it's Facebook, if it's, if it's posting images on Facebook with a, uh, to get more followers, if it's, you know, uploading YouTube videos and this and that, you know, you, you, see, you, you, you may see I do a lot of different things on a lot of different platforms, but I've been doing this <laughs> practically 24-7 for the past 10, 15 years, you know. I do it all the time consistently. And I love it. I mean, I still get up at 5, 36 o'clock in the morning. My brain wakes up and I'm up. <laughs> I can't go back to sleep, you know? And especially think about 3X coming, <laughs> you know? So stay in focus, you know? You stick to a topic and, 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 and work that out. You know, journal, write in your thing. If you've got problems with something, write them down and bring them to this meeting and ask this meeting. Or, or, or make a phone call to your upline or to a team leader and have them help and work, work through those things. You know, so many people have short tension spans and end up giving up, you know, on something. But you got to stay focused and you got to stay away from the shiny object syndrome. Okay, I have a problem with that. I see things that fly across the news feed on Facebook and I thought, geez, I should be looking at that program. Some things are good, some things are bad. And I tell you, I, I you know, I'll buy something every once in a while, their programs, and I, I have a stack of probably four or five things I want to implement because I think they're good ideas, but, the, but I, I, I buy them and then I put them in a stack so I don't forget them, but I try to stay focused on task of what I'm doing, okay? Number four, surround yourself with positive people, okay? One way to do that is do networking with our team meetings like this right here. You got to stay around positive people and you got to, you know, you got to get involved and you got to, you got to speak up and, and uh, because, you know, if, when you get a good support network, they'll inspire you, they'll encourage you, they'll uplift you, which is important. Okay. I can tell you the mind is a crazy thing. You'll come in and it's so amazing how sometimes just the combination of four or five things not going right and you feel like, Jesus, anything ever going to happen? I'm ever going to sponsor anything? The next thing it clicks and all of a sudden you, you have four or five, ten people calling you, okay? Um, it, it's, it's all about timing, but you, you have to be active and, and do these things to stay out there, okay? You know, positive people... Uh, you know, you need that to support and help you stay, you know, focused on things. You know, negative people will, will pull you down. They'll drag you down. You got to, if you can't get rid of them in your life, you have to ignore them. Okay. You got to let it go in one ear and out the other. Okay. Like your kids do sometimes. <laughs> no, my kids are grown now, so it's not as much. But, uh, you know, you, you got to stay on, you know, the positive things, don't let those things affect you, okay? The, last, the fifth thing I have written down here is, is uh, don't get comfortable, okay? What do I mean by don't get comfortable? You've got to always keep moving forward, okay? There's, you know, so many people that, you know, hit their goal and they say, I'm happy, okay? I'm, you know, I, I met my goal and then they just kind of settle down. When you hit your goal, you need to increase, your, you got to increase another goal and keep growing, Okay? You know, I have some pretty lofty goals. I mean, I, sh I share with people, I, I want to make $100,000 a month in Rx. And I'm not going to let up until I get to 100000 And in order to do that, I've got to help a heck of a lot of people. A heck of a lot of people. And I, I can tell you right now that watching, and, you know, I've been in since day one, and, and, you know, I know the compensation plan very well and stuff like that, but when you hear Dr. Fred Cooper and Ian Chandler sit there and tell the world, and it's on video, that RX is the highest paying compensation plan in the entire network marketing industry. When Jeunesse say they pay out 60% and they only pay out 39% of the dollar. $100 in, they pay out $39. RX $100 in, they pay out 
the highest in the industry. Everybody else is fibbing. And Fred Cooper, people say, how can Fred say that? How can he show all those graphics about all those other companies? Well, because they did their research. They're publicly traded. USANA pays out 40%. They all said they paid out 54%. They pay out 40%. Okay, he says, somebody says, well, Fred, how can you say that? Well, you can't, you don't, can't get any, in, in any trouble for slander when it's the truth. Okay, and so it's, uh, it's pretty doggone exciting. I mean, they open up and says, hey, if anybody wants a spreadsheet that shows the comparison, and I'm not saying that's the best way to build your business, but I tell you what, when anybody ever says anything to you, we pay out more or whatever, you can sit here and say, well, no, you don't. No, you don't, and I could prove it to you if you want to. I'm not in that business of proving it to you, but you don't. So let's think about, uh, who did I talk to today? I forgot it. Well, oh, he's not on the thing because he's here in Orlando at a golf thing that I'm going to uh, Wednesday with him. Mike, uh, Michael Jack Mack, okay? He's in RX here. He said uh, his buddy just joined Herbalife. So Herbalife pays out 29%. They say they pay out more. 40s or whatever, 45, they pay out 29% of the dollar. When a dollar, you put a dollar in, they, 29 cents comes out in compensation, okay? Because people, what they do is they, they're calculating points. Or uh, Janessa says we pay 60% of, you know, their, their point volume. Well, when you, so when you take dollar to dollar, you know, it's, it, it's far less. Well, you know, we, you look and say, Here's a guy in Herbalife that's going to make, let's round it to 30%, okay? Let's say if you say, I tell you what, in Rx, you could make 50% more. I want to make sure you understand that. If somebody's making 30% and you tell them you can make 50% more in our, in, in our company, 50, only 50% more of 30% is 45%, right? But Rx pays out 51. So if you get a calculator to it, we could say you probably make about 62% more if you do the same volume of business in Rx than in Herbalife. 62% more. Who wants to get a 62% raise? When you start to look at the numbers and the math of it, it's really crazy. Because it's not, oh, 29% to 51%. It's 62% or more of their 29%, okay? I don't want to get everybody, you know, uh, confused about numbers, but, you know, you know, 50% of 50 cents is 75 cents. It's not a dollar, right? So, you know, when you start learning math and people know, for the same work, I mean, it, it's absolutely crazy. So, uh, those videos are put on uh, Global Success Leaders on our Facebook page, and I would challenge everybody to, Make sure and go there and watch them. If you haven't, if you didn't attend, and if you if you did attend, I'd say everybody should at least watch Fred Cooper, uh, Fred and Ian's for uh, about thirty minutes, thirty five minutes of the ending of the webinar, the third one of the compensation plan. It's it's mind boggling. It's mind boggling. And Doctor Strand's video and his download of his his uh, new PDF at racestrand.com that you can download and is talking about oxidative stress is a powerful document you can take and share with people, print that out, share with people. It's education. You just take that document, read through it. And when he talks about oxidative stress and, and how you have to have so many antioxidants aboard to fight oxidative stress, it's a, it's a great article. That article alone should be an educational article that you can give to anybody and everybody and say, you know, you know, I don't believe in stuff. It's okay. You don't have to believe in, but why don't you just read this article here from a 40 year practicing physician that's used optimal nutrition for 19 years in his practice. Okay. You know, people sometimes don't want to hear what they want to hear because of other, you know, they, you know, sometimes people shield things out because they can't afford it. They, they think they can't afford it. Well, your health is the most valuable thing you have. And so, uh, anyway, and this business is about educating people. And, and you know, I heard a, a podcast today I was listening to, and they talked about how people have to forget that we are in the information economy. We're not in the, in the industrial economy. Or you don't go to work anywhere, work 30, hour, 30 years, 40 years, and get a pay. You, that's gone. It's completely gone. Everything now is an information industry, okay? Dr. Strand has information. The Internet provides information. 
our business, we have to educate people with information, okay? People in these other companies don't mean they can't make a decent money in another business. Don't get me wrong. It's just if somebody says, I'm looking for a good health and wellness company, and as long as we, I want to see the, you know, a couple of them have real good products. I mean, after they figure out a couple of them have good products, you know, it's really the compensation plan that you can make more money. I can tell you that, you know, if you hold a hundred dollar bill in one hand and the nutritional products in the other hand, you ask somebody what they want to talk about. They want to talk about the hundred dollar bill because 90 plus percent of the people are st stressed for money and would rather talk about money. Okay. Which leads to the compensation plan. So uh, let me shift here and share my screen. I want to go into a couple more things here. So the next thing I want to talk about is in our um, orientation. Let's see. It's in the orientation section. Okay. And it's right here. And in this orientation section, when you get to number nine, uh, excuse me, number 11, which is your first goals in RX, okay? This right here is so important to focus on, and that's sponsoring four people in your first eight weeks. This is your primary goal in RX when you first join. If you haven't sponsored four people, I don't care if you've been in for a year, this is your first goal you still should be working on this first goal. And I wanna explain it to you and I want you to make sure you ask me questions at the end when I call for questions. If you don't understand it, please ask questions. If you don't ask questions, I'm gonna assume you understand it, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. There's never ever a dumb question in my mind, ever. I don't care what it is. I just don't think that way. My mind doesn't process that way. Somebody ask a question because they, they just don't have the information maybe on the top of their mind at the time. And that's okay. I tell you what, there's times I can't withdraw stuff out of my mind that I, re that I knew I knew at one time. Okay? Maybe it's age, but anyway. <laughs> so, and so what I've done here is I've taken and put the link here to our sheet that I want you to click on. I want you to print out. And you should have this in your notebook. And your first goal is to sponsor four people in eight weeks. If you've been in, you still need to sponsor four people. And when you sponsor four people in RX, you get the team lead bonus. And the team lead bonus is $36.50. When you have, say you have two lines, four people. And in this example here, the first line we're calling the team power line. The people in shadow right here are put from people above you, okay, other people in the business. You put one on your power line, three in your pay. That's how I teach people to build. One on your power line, three in the pay. Everybody does that. Everybody needs to put one person on their power line, which should be their line one, and three people on their next line. I don't care if they have four lines wide or five lines wide. I want you to build two lines first until you get to become senior officer. Max that out. Okay, and I'll t because you get to the bonus pool, and I'll tell you that in a minute. So in your second line here, you have 75 points in auto delivery every four weeks from these three people. So though, that totals 225 points on your pay line. <clears throat> so when you take 15% base commission of the 225 points, is 33.75. Because you have four people on auto delivery, you qualify for that cycle of a team lead bonus of $36.50. And because you're a 2X member, RX gives you, doubles it and gives you another $36.50. So in that four week cycle, you would have made at least $106.75, hopefully more, but $106.75. I've made this every week since I've joined RX July, 11, July 4, 2011. I've never not got the team lead bonus, okay? Every week. So theoretically, you know, $73 went towards my products and all the other points I got. So you're gonna earn 73 points for the team lead bonus. If you've been in for a while and you've only sponsored one person, you've been in a year, you sponsor three more, you're gonna get the team lead bonus. Instead of being gold status, you're considered silver status. 
Now, when you're gold status, you unlock your thir first three levels of matching bonus. Let me zoom in on the bottom here. I should have zoomed in the first place. Okay. You see that there. Let me go towards the bottom. When you personally sponsor four people within your first eight weeks of joining RX, you will also earn gold status. Unlocking your first three generations of matching bonus. Your first generation is 15%. That means the first, everybody you sponsored, you make 15% base commission on. It unlocks your second generation. The people, those people start sponsoring, if they sponsor two or 222, you make 10% of all their base commission as long as they're active. The people they go out and sponsor, if it's 400 or four, you make 5% of their base commission. So those first three level generations of matching bonus are unlocked for life when you make gold status. If all those people that you sponsor quit, you're still gold status. Those levels are locked. Everybody compresses and shifts up. When somebody goes off auto ship, everybody shifts up. It, 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 so we have dynamic compression and matching bonus because RX wants to pay it all out. There are some companies that say, okay, we got three generations. Somebody goes off ship, auto ship. They don't compress anybody. You just lose that person. You just get the person below them. Well, RX says it's built in our compensation plan. We want to pay out 51% to the field because that's the engine for the success of our business. And we want to be a multi-billion dollar business. So if you don't hit gold status, you can be silver status by maintaining four people in your business. You can say, Rick, you know, I've got two people in my business. I never got four. And I've been in six months. That's okay. That's okay. Just get two more people. Your silver status, it'll unlock the first three levels, generations of matching bonus. They'll stay unlocked. If one of those person qu uh, quits, you'll just have to get another person. But hopefully you'll keep sponsoring. Okay, I've sponsored over 70, I think 78 people since I've been in the business. Okay, so you'll keep sponsoring when you have six or eight people sponsoring. It won't matter. Those generations will be unlocked. And as you make more money and you get up to 500 points, it unlocks the fourth generation, the fifth generation, the sixth and seventh. Okay, so the, this is very important to, be, to, get, to achieve the team lead bonus through a gold status or silver status. Okay, and if you're gold status and your four people quit, you don't get the team lead bonus. You, if your goal set is, that's great, but you still got to have four people to get it because you need, it's based on these points here, okay? They can't just pay out for nothing, okay? When you start looking at every aspect of learning this compensation plan inside and out, it's pretty amazing what we can make and how, you know, Fred Cooper built this thing. It's, it's to our benefit. It really is. And to me, it's, you know, extremely exciting. So before I uh, move on, I want to take and uh, jump back here and uh, open it up for any, you can unmute yourself. I want you to ask me any questions that you have on the team lead bonus or anything I just went over. In the bottom left-hand corner, you can hit unmute and ask me any question you want. So Rick, if you have, like my um, pay line is doing well because of people you probably sponsored of others have put underneath me. Sure. But yep. then everybody on my pay line has quit. So do I just uh, keep building on my pay line or Absolutely. do I still put one on the... Nope. nope. So long as you put one person on your power line, one person. Okay. Why do we say one person? Because we want you to commit to the team. If you're okay. not committed to the team and you come in and say, you know, geez, uh, you know, Rick, God, there's 40 people underneath me. Why should I put anybody there? Because you haven't committed to everybody else on the team. And that okay. is very important. And then put everybody else on your pay, uh, pay line until you optimize. So if you put one on a team, everybody else goes in your line two. Yes, it's great to have line three, four, and five with the elite pack and the ultimate pack. That's powerful for auto balance. And when Tim sells 3X program kicks in and you start dropping 250 point preferred customers right and left, you're going to be so excited because it's going to populate four or five lines wide and you're going to get way uh, quite a bit more much quite a bit more money than if you just have two lines okay but the reason why you drive down two lines and optimize those is because soon as you optimize you get a, a the the uh, 
the uh, income position bonus, which is about 250 to 300 bucks extra. Okay. 250 uh, uh, extra. If you build four lines wide and you, you never optimize those lines, but you got four lines wide, you got more teams you're dealing with. Okay. So the fastest way to get leaders, advance in leadership, the fastest way to get to the bonus pool is driving down two lines first until you optimize, unless you have a big leader that comes in and says, hey, I'm bringing three or 400 people my team over, then open another line. Okay. Other questions? Hey, Rick, does it do, does it do that automatically for you? You actually have to go in there and, and put one under your power line. Uh. It, the when you enroll somebody, you can if somebody enrolled. Okay, if somebody enrolled, it'll automatically place it. Okay? okay, but it's important to learn how to place it yourself. And so, so here, let me just touch on this because it's kind of confusing to some people. You're you have a sponsor ID number. Okay, so the system says who is the sponsor of this person? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me back up. Let me back up and say you have, let me back up. When you join, you have an income position. Let me just say that. You have, and let me go to the drawing board here and show you. Let me okay. go to a whiteboard here. Okay. <clears throat> so when you, when you come in and let me see if I got a pencil here. Yeah, I got a pencil. Let me see. Uh, draw. Uh, okay. With, okay. We can do it. When you come into business, you have an income position. Okay. We call it an IP income position. Okay, this is an income position number one. Okay, and let's say you come in and you come in with the leap pack, which is four lines. Okay, and this is terminology that you need to start understanding. Okay, because you just it's your business, you got to know. So, this is your income position one, line one, income position one, line two. Income position line three, income position line four. What, so what these lines are called, technically with an RX, is 1.1. So you'll start seeing this, 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4, 1 1.5, 1 because see, when you optimize this line here and this line here, RX gives you another income position that you can put below yourself, and this is gonna be called IP, IP2, okay? And it can have two lines, it can have multiple lines, but you'll get two. And so this is gonna be called 2.1, and this is gonna be called 2.2. And you know, if somebody comes down here with an elite pack, which is a thousand points, you get those points there and it drives up here and you get those thousand points right here also. You get paid twice for that same pack. Oh, that's cool. It is really cool. <laughs> so by how do you get that income position too? By driving down those two lines, optimize, and they give you a second income position and two lines and they give you another line over here. They give you a fifth one. Mm -hmm. So you got two income positions here and that's called double dipping. So when somebody comes in here, they get points here and they get points here. You collect points twice. Okay. It's crazy. But they, they do this because the people that achieve this right here are, are serious about building a big business. So I tell people, focus down two to get your second income position. Put that income position on your weakest line because when you build there, it's going to help optimize the line up here. If two is your weakest line, put it here. If one's your weakest line, it's going to go over here between these two and build here. And then you can come back later and build here. Okay. And here, because see, every time you build here, that's another 2000 to uh, when it's optimized, 2000, 2000. And then this and down here is 2000. So the way this business sits, if you had all these lines optimized with 13,334 points, each one of them, that's two, four, six, eight, ten thousand $10,000 a week. Now that's a lot of people in the business. Okay. But when you start to look at, you know, making a hundred thousand a month, okay. You know, you, you stay at it and go at it. I mean, you know, it, it's very doable. I mean, there's people that are the busting out and, and we're seeing it all the time. So, um, 
so start to learn this right here. IP1, IP2, your line one, line two, line three. Okay. Now, so when you go to sponsor somebody is what you ask is you have a sponsor ID. Okay. And then you have a, uh, that's a D. Okay. And then you have a placement. It asks you for the placement ID. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now don't get that confused because mm -hmm. you're the sponsor. You'll get the credit. They'll be your first generation. The placement mm -hmm. might be way down here. You might have a, the placement is this guy down here, Johnny. And Johnny's ID is 1378642. So that's mm -hmm. the placement. So because, mm -hmm. you know, you need to learn how to build this business, I will help you. I, can, I know this like the back of my hand. I can tell you instantly where you need to do it. Place mm -hmm. a person. And so, okay, place them there. So you're gonna you're gonna put one in the team line here. You're gonna have your one person here, and then mm -hmm. this person can put his one here, and he's put over here, and this keeps going. This line hopefully is just gonna take off, like Jerry was saying. There's a bunch of people underneath there, and hopefully they just continue to grow, and you never have to go to that line again, and it maxes out. And you start building this line too, and you just you just drill deep. And when you put somebody in your line too, you always put them on your first line. You don't never put them anywhere except your first line. You don't mm -hmm. never build. This is yours right here. You build both sides yours here. But when you're driving down, if I didn't have, let me let me erase some of the stuff. <clears throat> if I didn't have this down here, okay, and um, and somebody was coming in. Let me get my pencil back here. Let me get a fatter one here. Okay, if um, you know, I put somebody down here, and they got two lines right here. I, I, you always drive down your number one line for you. Okay. You don't ever drive down somebody else's two or three or whatever and put it over. You drive down number one line. Okay. You know, the thing I always tell okay. people is your sponsor people always keep family in the same line. If mm -hmm. this is your brother and your sister and your cousin kind of keep them together because when a cousin sponsors an uncle, everybody benefits here. Mm -hmm. If you got a cousin over here and a brother over here, and they're at the same meeting, and they know George over here, and all of a sudden he sponsors George, but he thought he talked to George. You just cause conflict. Uh, now, yeah. sometimes it's, uh, it's unavoidable, but any chance you can pre-plan it ahead of time, always keep your family together in a line because whatever you do down here could benefit all of them. And it just, it becomes really, you know, you want to do things together. You don't want to spread your family all over the place if you can help it. Okay. 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 Questions. Oh, I, I hope that wasn't too much of a, a <laughs> an explanation for you, but I kind of get details sometimes. Hey, you, Rick. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Somebody yeah. else had a question. Uh, yeah. Uh, the double X membership. Can you go over that when they, when they be, uh, what pack do they have to, would that, would they not get the double X membership with? Okay, the pack they wouldn't get the double X membership is a couple of the member packs, the two line member packs, okay? Does not come with the 2X. It's optional at $150. A couple of them do come with the 2X membership, but all the business with three lines, the elites with four lines, and the ultimate five lines comes with the 2X membership. Okay. So just two of the business packs don't. And they're the cheaper packs, you know, 229 or 239 or something like that. So what, how, how does that work then? When, when would they, when would they, they would never be able to nope. double their money? Nope. Double their bonuses, not their money. Their base commissions the same. 15% base commissions the same on everybody, but their bonuses would only be instead of 15%, it'd be seven and a half percent. That makes sense. I say don't get an extra 15% off. Yeah. Yes. Good point, Daryl. Plus they don't get an extra 15% off their auto delivery. So they're only getting 15% off their auto delivery. So the 2X membership is a must. I don't know that, you know, I've had hardly, any, I don't think I've ever had anybody not, not get it because it just makes sense. I mean, you know, um, I mean, I hopefully, hopefully in the future going forward, they make it where they can't, but you know, in the beginning, you got to keep in mind, some people just want to barely get in. You do have 30 days to upgrade to it, you know, so. And the other thing, let me clarify one thing, because Daryl kind of found this out, is that if you have somebody, uh, and I would only say really you do this with family members in most cases, but you can actually enroll somebody 
um, with the boss, let's say you have a family member and they're not going to build right now. You could actually enroll them for the twenty nine ninety five and put them into business. They're not active. They can't sponsor, but they can be in the business. And then you can put somebody below them and somebody below them. And then they can come back, come back and activate that business by buying a pack and they can activate their business at that time. And then they start collecting this volume that is going up in their business. So if you have any family members you think you want a position, maybe they're not ready yet, but you like to put them in, you can do that. It's not a, it's not the best practice all the time, but you know, you can do it, you know? And, um, okay. Other questions on the, um, team lead or the compensation plan here while we're on it. Where do they get the fifth line? Is that, is that what the ultimate pack? Is that what you're talking about? Num number five? Yeah. The ultimate pack, you get the fifth line with the ultimate pack. Plus uh, you, when you optimize these two lines with 13,334 points in, in one week. Okay. So when you have 13,334, that's a magical number. You should know this by heart. Okay, and you should write this down in your journal and you should know it well when you times that by 15%. Our compensation plan pays out $2,000 for the week when two lines, this line and this line is, has 13,000 each one of them, you make two grand. Plus you make 300, about 300 in bonus. You, you make 15% in your savings bonus, which is $300. You make about 350 almost, maybe 400 in your, in your, um, um, Income position bonus, you make 2% of your base commission, 40 bucks in the, uh, the uh, cost of living increase. You make about 2,800 bucks. When you have matching bonus in there, you could be upwards of 3,000, depending on your team, how they're building. In one week. Wow. Okay. So when you hear somebody that hits like a CEO level, a chairman level, I mean, they're you know, to get to CEO level, I had to max out three of these lines all in the same week. Okay, with 13,000 in all three lines to make four grand, 4,000 bucks to hit the CEO level. And then the next level for me is chairman, which I got to hit 6,000. So I got to either get a max another income position down here. Okay, right here with this one here and this one here, which would automatically max this one, right? If, this, if my two's max, this line right here is maxed. And I can tell you right now, okay, this line right here on mine doesn't, doesn't max every week by itself, but the volume down here maxes it. Okay? So, me, because I'm getting volume twice. And it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, I, I sell a lot of products. I mean, I hit third place in, in sales of all of North America and actually Europe and Netherlands. And two people in the Netherlands come ahead of me because they sell a lot of MOA. They have a couple uh, people there that, that sell a boatload of MOA every week, twenty thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a week worth of MOA. Wow. And uh, they have preferred customers. They have it on, they drink it. It's just, they drink it and they're preferred customers and they sell a lot of it. But I come in third place, but, and, and I get double on all my points. So somebody buys Slender X from me and there's 76 points. I get 152 points, you know, because I drove down those two to get my second income position, right? Okay, so it, it's, 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 it's key. Okay, other questions? Hey, Rick, that saving bonus, does that come out of what the money that you make? Or is no, that it's added. Oh, wow. It's added. It's crazy. It's added. They add 15%. When you make over, so listen, let me get it. Let me clarify here. When you make over $250 is all okay. In base commission, in base commission in a week, they give you plus 15% of whatever that number is. Wow. They put it into a savings account for you. Okay. And then as soon as it gets to 10,000 bucks, they give you a check. When you get in savings costs gets to 10,000, they either deposit it. You know, when I got it, they just deposit it. And then you get it once a month. Every four weeks you get it. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> it really is. I mean, most people think, well, geez, they take it out and say, no, they give you it extra. Uh -huh. So you, we, we got like eight different ways that we make money. That's cool. And that, it, it, it happens automatically. All these bonuses happen automatically. You just worry about getting your, your two lines going. Okay. Right. 
Yeah. Other questions? So Rick, it's Jerry again. Yep. Um, so once you maximize the first two and get the second in composition, then you drive down and build that. And then once that maximizes, then do you go over to like number three? Absolutely. And, when you opt and then put it underneath there or yeah, you have, every time you optimize an income position, you get another income position on that one. Right. So when you optimize one, you get two. When you optimize two, you get three. Yes, you have to put your three underneath your two. You can't put your three over underneath your th line one three. The only okay. way you are able to do that is with the ultimate reentry. So when you come up with the ultimate pack, you get the ultimate reentry, and you can actually put that reentry anywhere in the entire company. Okay. Anywhere in the entire company. Well, to me. I've, I've analyzed it quite a bit and I say, put it underneath your own business. Okay. Get it, put it underneath your own business and, do, and, and double dip. You put it whatever line you want. Okay. And the line, okay. line doesn't have to be optimized. Right, Rick? Well, to, <laughs> they say it does, but, it, but we've, we've shown it doesn't. <laughs> you, you, to put it in a cross line. Okay. So let's clarify. You can put it in your own business right away. It's been done already within our, you know, Daryl's done it. But if you take and put it into another cross line, you would have to optimize. You would have to then optimize your business. You'd have to be maxing your line one and two, your income position one, to be able to earn money on that. So to put it in somebody else's, if you if you met somebody in another team, and you said, "Hey, I want to put my 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 business over there or my link over there." Hopefully, you work hard enough and you you start to become a leader that people want to put it underneath you. I've had a couple inquiries that people say, "Well, as soon as I get it, I'm." I'm coming putting it over in your team, Rick, because, you know, they want to be a part of what we're doing because, you know, I'm a firm believer and, you know, you got to give to get. So, I'm, I, you know, and that's why I create so many things out there because it just attracts people to, uh, to our team and what we're doing. And believe it or not, it's not only me that benefits. A lot of people benefit from that. I mean, you know, there's some, you know, neat stuff, you know, that can happen. Right, Daryl? <laughs> <laughs> yep. so. That's for sure. Okay, other other questions. Okay, no other questions on that. Okay, I just want to switch back to make sure you guys are all here still. Okay. <laughs> Remember, there's never a silly question. I don't care what it is. So everybody's clear on that, right? Clear as mud, right? <laughs> okay. So let's see. The last thing I want to talk about here, and then we'll open it up for any final questions here, is in the training tab right here. If you're serious about building your business, you will go to the daily success tracker here, which is unit number nine in our training section. And you will take and click on this right here and you will print out a dozen plus of these or whatever, as many, as, you know, print 10 or 20 of them. And you'll put them in a notebook and you will start filling these out. Even if it's only for yourself, I challenge everybody to fill these out. This is a daily uh, success tracker. This is based off of Tim Sales, what he does. He's got a tracker in the 3X. And I can tell you if you get in the habit of filling this out. Because, see, you know, I've, you know, when you think about it, there's only one person that you can lie to in the world, and that's yourself. When you really think about it, you can only lie to yourself. Okay. So, and what I mean by that is that, you know, somebody can say, well, how many points did you get? Well, I got this many points like that. Well, fill it out. You don't have to tell anybody how many points you got same, you know, you know, you need to do this because it's a good practice for yourself to advance yourself taking action. Because see, if you start achieving an average points, you know, uh, even a below average 20 points a day, I will tell you, that if you're achieving 20 points a day, you will be making at least 50,000 a year 12 months from now. If you achieve 50 points a day, I will tell you, you'll be making about 100,000 a year 12 months from now. I'll guarantee you. 
uh, almost, I should say, almost guarantee you, if you hit 50 points a day, six days a week, you'll be at 100 grand. Trust me, you will. Because, see, this is taking action. Doing these different steps. Because, see, when you're sponsoring, when you, let me start at the top. When you're advertising leads, you're getting two points, okay? When you're making a business exposure, you're getting a point. When you're dialing a prospect, you're getting a point. When you're speaking to a prospect, you're getting two points. If you took the action to even leave a message with somebody, you get a point. If you meet a new prospect, you get two points. If you set an appointment to follow up, you get three points. The money is in the follow-up. I followed up with a guy today that's in the UK that I talked to on December 31st. I have his card right here. Okay, remember the cards I use? Right here. Okay. And he's joining. He told me that he's joining. He's in another company, Forever Living. He's, he's at a standstill. They're a big company, but they're kind of, he's just a, he's not making no progress. He lo- he's already built a Facebook page. He's got Twitter accounts. I talked to him today. He's sharing these with me. He's got stuff posted. He says, I'm joining within seven days. He says, I've got a group of people also. The point I'm getting at is that you have to follow up. I, I followed up with him this morning. I haven't talked to him for about 10 days. Let's see, 10 days is the last time I talked to him. Hey, I just say, hey, Johnny, how you doing? Just wanted to check base with you, see if everything's going great for you. That's all I said. I just followed up. And he hits me back and says, Rick, yeah, I'm going great. I created this page. I'm really excited. About seven more days I'm going to join. I'm saving enough money to get a certain pack, and, and I'm joining. Okay? Follow-up is so important. Invite somebody to see something, two points. Present, uh, make a presentation, three points. A three-way call, three points. Make a retail sale, five points. And sponsor somebody, ten points. When you do these actions and you collect your points every day, yes, it's work to do, but it's your business. I hope you're doing this so you can quit doing what you're doing at a job. So you can then have the time freedom eventually and have the income that's, that's of all your efforts created right now See, I get a kick out when people say, well, you know, I mean, I don't have a good ask how much I make, but when people think about, well, how much you're making this, how can you sit there and even tell somebody an answer to that? Because you don't know what the future value of your money of residual income is. You work your tail off for three or four years and you build it up to $150,000 a year and then you stop working like Tim Sales did after five years and he got paid $1.8 million, $5,000 a day for 18 years. And the only reason why it stopped because he joined RX because he knew with RX he could double, triple, quadruple that amount. And he'll probably tenfold it, to be honest with you. Okay. So, because, I mean, Fred wants to be bigger than Amway, which is $12 billion. You can't conceive how $12 billion is. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be exciting. You know, RX will probably have a private island someday that we'll be able to go to. Okay? (laughs) So, go to the success tracker right here. Download it. When you have somebody new on your team, make sure they go through these first two these orientation tab and the training tab, you know, Hello. so much great information here to help you. Yes. Who has a question? Uh, Yeah. What, what is um, advertising leads? What, I mean, what, what is, I'm not understanding the first, the first slot. Advertising leads would be something you, if you bought leads or if you advertise on Facebook and you got a lead. So let's say you advertise on Facebook and you had a capture page and you got five leads today. You can go five times two. Okay. Five times. So, them, so them are the leads that you generated. Or, or if you buy them. So you bought some qualified leads. Because people, there's people fill out forms. I don't like to do that. I, I did it a long time ago. But I tell you what, it gets a little old. You got to have thick skin to call li- people that fill out these forms online and stuff like that. But there, there's a lot of people that work leads. They call people that fill out forms. And they're looking for a business opportunity. And they talk with them. And if you buy, you know, 10 leads and, and this week, you know, it's 10 times two is, is because it's long, it, you know, it's points because you're, you're working towards building your business and that's the purpose of this. Okay. So what's the difference between advertising leads and business exposure? 
A business exposure would be if you were, let's say that you were uh, out and about and you were at a gas station and, and you were filling gas and you had a car, a business card and you say, you know, hey, you look like a sharp individual, you know, using a three foot rule, I guess, and you handed him a card or you were at a, a networking meeting and you presented and there was say 20 people there and you, pre you got to get up and present your business, those 20 people, you could count those 20 points as, as uh, exposure of your business. Oh, okay. So they're not advertising leads. That's business exposure. Okay, thank you. Yep. Other questions? Okay. So I've um, I've kind of you know this this is going to conclude our training, but I would just open it up now for any other questions about anything you want to ask questions or talk about. You can. Uh, Ask them now. 3X. Have you heard when it's coming out? No, I haven't. Haven't heard anything about it, uh, Randy. I just, uh, I'm just sitting patient. You know, okay, so let's, how, I don't know if many of you know Stefan Page. Stefan Page is, uh, was in New Skin with, with Tim. Um, he was one of Tim's protégés, and he sponsored him, and uh, Tim sponsored him. One of the first guys that Tim sponsored, just like, you know, I was one of the first people that Lynn Allen Johnson sponsored into the business when we joined. And um, he's uh, in Quebec. He's French. And uh, English is his second language. He, he does very well. He's actually chairman level two or chairman, chairman level one, uh, which is great just recently, which is super. And so he's been working with Tim pretty closely on building this 3X and launching it and helping him on the marketing side because he's pretty savvy on Facebook. And so he made a video the other day, and I don't miss too much stuff online. <laughs> and um, he said that he's getting four to 500 leads a day. Oh, wow. So four to five, I don't know how much money he's spending, but four to 500 leads a day, he's getting about 20% of those people that are buying the 3X program. Mm. So if you get 500 leads and 20% buy them, that's 100 people, right? Mm. If you're making 58, 20, because if you sponsor over 20 people, you make 60%, which is $58.20. I hope you know that. You either make 48.50 or you make 58.20. Which one do you want to make? Under 20 or over 20 in a month? Okay. And then he's having 30 to 40% that are joining RX, is what he said in this video. Now he was saying it kind of like promoting or recruiting. He put it out there kind of promoting, nothing to say about 3X, but just to say about, hey, I'm working on a system with the, that's going to really revolutionize some stuff. And here's the kind of results we're getting. But, you know, obviously I hear this <laughs> because I know what he's talking about because he's not talking about doing it any other way. So, so myself, besides the tracking issue that Tim talked about, I think he's trying to spend his money, which we have to appreciate to make sure that he fine tunes the marketing funnel. So when he hands it over to us, we don't waste our money. Okay. Uh, we're all anxious for it. I'm anxious for it. I know he probably wants to get it out, but I haven't heard nothing. I'm expecting it any day <laughs> myself, but I haven't been expecting it any day. So I know I haven't heard anything else uh, more than uh, what I can say there. I did notice on the 3X site today that they have the recipe section all filled in. Yeah. It wasn't there before. Yeah, yeah, he just, uh, I think he's been there for a couple of days, but yeah, and it's amazing. He's got, he, he, he said in a blog post on the, on the group that he hired a nutritionist to come in and make, and a, a cook, a, I don't know if he said chef or whatever, to come and make all these recipes at his house. And he'd give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. If he didn't like it, it didn't make the thing. And they put all these, there's probably over 100 of them in there. I mean, he's got chili, he's got all kinds of great recipes in there. And uh, so they, you know, wow. so I'm anxious to make some. I haven't made any of those yet, but there's, there's one that's some tortillas made out of cauliflower, <laughs> which is, I told my wife that I'm going to have her, she said she wants to make them. I don't know how, I'll see how that comes out. But anyway. They're not too bad. Have you tried it? Yes. I've done a lot of things with the cauliflower. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, any, any other questions before we end our training? Go. Hey, Rick, so I got like, uh, 
I think I got maybe like six or seven weeks left to get my four, uh, my first four reps. Okay. What would you recommend me doing to, to guarantee that I get my four reps in six weeks? Uh, let's see. What I would say if you got the average points on a tracker every day uh-huh. in, the middle, in the middle, or even a blow average. I think if you got the blow average, 20 points a day on the tracker, you would probably get your four people. So okay. – Two, th- two things, if somebody says, okay, Rick, wh- you know, what are you going to do? This is a question that, that um, Simon Chan asks everybody interviews. He's interviewed 128 people, I think, so far in his podcast. And the last question he asked people is if you knew everything you knew, okay, and you got dropped into an air and, and you didn't know, you knew everything you knew about network marketing, but you had nobody. You, knew, you had no friends or nobody. How would you build your business? Okay, so here's what I would do. I would go on Mm meetup.com, meetup.com, and I would find as many different types of groups that I would be interested in, and I would go attend those groups. Okay. Okay, in other words, I attend a WordPress group, which is obviously making websites on the internet, right? WordPress, okay? Mm -hmm. I attend a WordPress group just to meet people, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't get to stand up and pitch those people, but I get to meet people there, and form a relationship with people, okay? Mm-hmm. And, and somebody, what, what I like to do to people is say, what do you do? You know, and I know they're around the WordPress, but I say, what do you do? What do you, what do you specialize in? So they get to tell me. And then, you know, some of them that have a little bit more of a business mind because they not all, not all of them do, <laughs> do, they'll say, well, what do you do? Okay. Mm-hmm. And then I said, well, you know, I'm an entrepreneur, you know, I, I build my own websites, but you know, at heart, I'm an entrepreneur. I help people, you know, earn additional income around what they're currently doing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or I could, you know, and you just say just, there's some, so many one liners that you can say, and all that's in global success leaders. You can learn that stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I want them to say, well, what is, what is that? How do you make more money? I said, well, I said, well, would you be interested in that? And they said, well, yeah. So, well, you know, I'd love to sit down with you. It, it wouldn't be fair to either one of us if I just tried to tell you everything here because, you know, I have some pictures and graphs and some you know, stuff that I can show you so you could, you know, m- you know, do some of your discovery in it so you make, you know, so you can take a, a good look at it if that would interest you. Mm-hmm. So I try to dumb it down a little bit and not speak over their head or nothing like that. But so I would go to some meetup groups, okay? So I would attend those groups, okay? I would add friends on Facebook. I would find, I would find people that I know on Facebook, okay? Mm-hmm. Let me find somebody that's talking. I need to mute somebody. I hear some audio here. Has somebody got a TV on or something? Uh, let's see, okay. Um, so I would find, I would go on Facebook, okay? And I would find maybe people I went to high school with, maybe people that I see other people that are successful. And I would go to their friends. I would find, I would go and see their friends and I would start adding some of their friends mm-hmm. on my Facebook. Cause you know what happens when you're on Facebook and you, somebody adds you a friend as a friend, don't you look and see who, who, who else is a friend of theirs? It might be a friend of yours. Yeah. If they're not, then I don't friend them. I really look at them critically. But if I look on there and all of a sudden, boom, there's six or eight people that are friends of theirs. Okay. Cause I don't add anybody. I don't approve anybody. Cause I get, I get five or eight, 10 friend requests a day. I don't approve people unless they, unless I, there, I see something there like that. So you can go on other people's site and friend their people mm-hmm. and just start. You don't have to talk to them or nothing like that and do that. The other thing I do is anytime somebody friends me, okay, on Facebook, mm-hmm. I have a process I go through. So they friend me and I say, and so I add them as a friend and I immediately message them and I say, um, hi, hi, John. Um, thanks for adding me on Facebook. It's mm-hmm. nice meeting you. Mm-hmm. And I wait for the, and I just do that. And, I, and then it's always in my messages all the way down and I wait for them to respond. And then I'll respond back and they'll say, hey, it's nice meeting you too. And then it just depends. I look at their profile. I'm not going to, I'm going to make sure I know who I'm talking to. And I said, well, what type of work do you do? 
Okay. Mm -hmm. So I start, they friended me. I added them. I said, thanks for adding. You know, nice meeting you. What do you do? What do you do? What type of work do you do? And, and sometimes it goes somewhere and sometimes it doesn't. Okay. And so I would, I would go into social media and I would do that consistently and I'd do it every day. I would have a checklist and I'd say, okay, every day I got to do that. Okay. I'd take my tracker and I'd say, okay, I made some points there, you know, business exposure possibly there. And then I would attend as many meetups I would could. I'd find some breakfasts. I'd, I'd search for any networking groups. Okay. I'd attend any networking groups. Okay. Yeah. You got to get around other people. Okay. And then once you do that, you can go to the, the next six. I've done a lot of different things in the very beginning. I do different things now, but in the very beginning, I mean, I have put flyers out. I have put drop hundred dollar bills, those little bills that are drop card bills. It says, you know, our business is, uh, what's the last one I had? I got one right here. My video is not working, so I can't show it to you. Uh, I can't find one here. I got one right here somewhere, but something to the fact that, you know, uh, we're expanding our business in the area and uh, we can't keep up with the growth. We need, we need additional uh, people. You know, you could set up a, a, uh, a toll free number and go online, get your toll free number for 10 bucks a month, six bucks a month. I don't know if they are right now. They're inexpensive. You could record a message yourself or you can get somebody on Fiverr to record a message mm -hmm. and just kind of word craft something. You could send it to me and say, Rick, what do you think? I'll throw it back at you with some things. But basically you're trying to appeal to people, not say, Oh, join the arts. You're trying to say, Hey, you know, we're expanding our business in the area. We're looking for people that are uh, like-minded individuals that are motivated to help us grow our business. We're in the health and wellness industry, which is the next trillion dollar industry, or we're in a trillion dollar health and well wellness industry. And uh, we're looking for people that uh, would like to make some additional income around what they're currently doing. If that's you, please leave your name, your phone number, and, um, um, and we'll get back to you. And then call them back and just talk to them. You're going to know if they're, you know, you're just searching for, you know, you might out of 10 people get, nine dingbats but you just need one person that says hey i've been looking for something i'm a realtor and it's kind of slow right now and i need some other income and you sit down and you meet with them you don't sit there and tell them everything on the phone you meet with them if you can't meet with them you can kind of talk to them a little bit maybe you send them a video a single video that's on our on our uh explore rx.com forward slash rx that link there to some single videos maybe you send them to your explore rx site to do a little more due diligence okay and you do that, you, you do something like that. You basically, the whole thing is you got to get exposure with people, but you got to appeal to what their needs and wants are. Because mm -hmm. see, in the inviting formula, you greet, you qualify what they need, want, or don't want. So you're kind of skipping that greeting part a little bit mm -hmm. by just putting stuff out there, but you got to work on that qualifying step. Do they need, want, or don't want something that we have? Mm -hmm. Health and wellness, you know, health, okay, or finances. Those two things is what we're selling. We're selling you know, more money and we're selling, having a better, you know, health. What do you need to lose weight? You know, you need to feel better. You need more energy. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Thanks. Okay. I'm going to try that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get my four people. So, yeah, okay. Gonna... I know you are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, I talk to Lee about every day. <laughs> so yeah. good. Thanks, Rick. Okay. Other questions? Uh, let's see. I, got, I think I got a question in the chat here. Rick, what is this? Okay, so Benny's asking uh, what is uh, the single most, the simplest way to explain how to earn your first 10,000? To explain how to earn your first ten thousand, I've never had to explain to anybody how to earn the first ten thousand more than, you know, because I'm not telling somebody come in and you can make ten thousand a month because all that's usually BS. Because really, it's based on, you know, when people say, well, you know, how can how can I earn my first ten thousand? You know, is going to be based on how many people you can get, you can expose yourself to, and how well of a leader you can become. It's a combination of both. Because leaders do what leaders do. 
Did you understand that? Leaders do what leaders do. So if you want to become a leader, start doing what other leaders are doing. Myself, you know, just different leaders, Heshi and Lynn and, and Chris and just other people become leaders and people are becoming leaders and stuff like that and are leaders and even other people in the other industries. I follow a bunch of leaders on other teams. I follow Todd Falcone. He's, you know, he, he, he's more of a trainer and stuff like that, but he's a leader. Okay. I follow all kinds of leaders and I journal in my journal all the time because it helps me become a better leader. Okay, and, and, and John Maxwell, everybody should be listening and reading John Maxwell because he's got so much stuff on leadership. So as you get going, because see, when you become that leader, you start attracting more people. You, you start attracting people. So it's a combination of putting yourself out there. You know, um, you know, Benny, you've been making some great videos on 3X. I just love that. You know, you start doing that in the open market and you're just going to kill it. You are. You're just going to kill it on, on Facebook, on, on YouTube, and, and, and just put, your, put yourself out there. And every once in a while when you're doing that, you got to drop RX out there so people know you're in it, so people get attracted to that, okay? I, I can't tell you how many people contact me and just say, I want to join RX, okay? Because they know I'm in it, because I have it out there everywhere, okay? So, you know, really, there's... You know, there's no simple way, no more than that you do got to expose yourself to a lot of people and you've got to step up, you got to step up and you got to just start doing what leaders do. You got to start, you know, you can have some, you get a small team, you got to start having some calls with them. You got to start having meetings. I mean, Daryl, uh, uh, I am and Eileen, they're doing, they're doing meetings. They're in both in Canada, both in kind of the British Columbia area, Vancouver and Vernon, and they're doing meetings and I challenge you. You know, anybody that wants to just break out, just start doing a meeting every Thursday night. Thursday's a magical night for meetings, okay? Thursdays and Saturdays are kind of the key times for meetings, okay? Just step up and just say, I'm going to have a meeting. Just commit. I'm going to have a meeting. I'm just going to present our flip chart, okay? And I'm going to have a meeting, okay? And then, um, you know, just have, um, have everybody attend a meeting. Invite people to it. If one person shows up, explain it to them. More people show up, and more and and when somebody shows up and and they join, if they don't say, hey, can you bring a couple of people next week? And you start just letting it become a snowball rolling down the hill, and and over time, you're gonna have more and more and more people. Daryl, you want to speak at anything about some of the meetings you've had? Just kind of share what you guys started. Well, I, yeah, we it's slow at start at the start, but. Yep. Uh, you just got to plug away. It's better than doing nothing. Absolutely. You just let people know. Yeah. And, and I think it's consistency is the biggest thing. I'm down there regardless if anybody shows, I'll be there. So, yeah. And, and, and it just allows other people to follow along. And then when somebody joins, they know they have a place to come. Yeah. And, and, and bring their people and they, well, I joined. Maybe people want to be part of something. Mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. love to be part of something okay so having them come and and uh, and um you know attend something where they know they can come back there again is 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 powerful and and you know the thing about it is you can even start with your family you know and people people say well you don't talk to your family and friends bs Tell your family, say, would you do me a favor? Can I practice on you? Could I just practice on you? Could I just, you know, could you just come and, 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 and we'll sit around a table and I want to show you a flip chart. Could you just do me a favor? You know, I love you guys. You're my family. Can I just practice on you? It would, it would help boost my, my self-esteem, my, my posture and everything else like that. And I'm going to present to you like you're there and you do that and you walk through and you present to them. And I'll guarantee you, if you present to five or six of your family members, you're going to get one of them that says, well, I want to know a little bit more about this. I wasn't taking it very serious, you know. But just start that way. And then, then when they're done, say, you know, I, you know, it's okay that you guys don't join me. If you just support me, 
you know, just through, you know, personal support, you know, I, I would greatly appreciate that. I don't care if you join me, that's fine. But if you know anybody, could you just do me a favor and maybe invite them and come with them, you know, maybe next Thursday? And, you know, we don't have to say you're in. We won't talk about that. You just come and, and bring them with you so they have somebody there, and then I'll present again. And it's okay if they don't, but it just is going to help me. And the next thing you know it, one's going to turn into two, that's going to turn into four, and then eight, and then 16, 32, 64. Then you can say, Rick, we're over at a hotel now. We're in a little meeting room at the, at the Barnes and Nobles or the Panera Bread, and then we have to go to a hotel. And the people say, well, God, I can't afford a hotel. Baloney, charge all the reps that are in ARCs ready five bucks or 10 bucks a piece. That's easy to, to support the meeting. And then you collected a couple hundred bucks to pay for the room each time. That's what we did in, here in Orlando. We charged all the reps five bucks to help offset the cost of the room because the room kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And the people came and sometimes they didn't bring anybody. We did times that says, hey, if you bring somebody, you get them free. Also, and if you don't, it costs you 10 bucks. So you just got to start it. You got to take action, right? On those basic keys to success, you just got to take action. It's the first step. And you just keep moving forward. And trust me, it's like that guy that sits out on that hill that you'll never forget that starts dancing. And he starts dancing. And then a couple other guys get in and they start dancing. And next thing you know, the whole hill is dancing because he created a movement, okay? And, and I can tell you right now, building in your local market is 10 times easier than building on the internet. I hate to say that, but the internet is, if you have the technology skills, yes, it's easier. But you have to be able to, to have those skills and be able to do multiple things online at the same time, okay? But it's much easier to build in a market together. And I tell you what, it gets pretty exciting when you get to a meeting, all of a sudden there's, you know, one week there's four or five people and the next week there's 15 people and they're all wanting to join and jump on this, in this movement. It, it's, it's pretty cool. Okay. Other questions before we end here? Rick, it's Laurel. Hi, Laurel. Hi. So just to confirm, are you posting this recording on the GSL uh, Facebook page? Everything I post on the GSL Facebook page. Yep. Okay, great. Thank yep. you. And Rick, where did we get that flip chart again? On the GSL Facebook page. Okay. And Global Success Leaders, both. I mean, I would go as far as challenging everybody in the call to present it to their self three times this week, meaning just reading it. You look at the page, you put it down, and you say it out loud. Just go in a room and talk like this. Who cares? You can't do that. You can't build a business. I mean, you got to get out of your own way sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, you always, you always talk to yourself anyway. Just talk out loud. Mm -hmm. I don't believe there's anybody in this line don't talk to yourself. If you answer yourself, you're in trouble, but you, know, you talk to yourself. No. I mean, we all talk. We all have those, our mind going. Just talk out loud, you know? I rehearse stuff all the time. You don't think actors rehearse things? You don't think the people that get a screenplay that sit there and, and get on stage and, and rehearse and talk and you hear about the, the guy that stays after basketball practice and shoots another 100 balls, your Tiger Woods that sits and, and hits 100 balls a day, you know, and nobody's, nobody's around him and nobody knows because he's practicing. That's the same thing you're going to do with the presentations. You're going to practice. I couldn't do it very well in the beginning. I couldn't do anything very well in the beginning. But I kept practicing. I never give up. Failure, I don't know failure. I just keep moving forward. If I fail, I just keep going forward. It's just to me, it's just work in progress. Because I hope everybody has a goal here to make money. I don't know how much each one wants to make, but I mean, it's, you know, you got to just start taking action. Okay. Okay. Unless there's any other questions, we're going to go ahead and end the call and uh, good training and we'll,
unmute everybody. Everybody can say good night to everybody. Good night. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much, Rick. Okay. Thank you, Rick. Thank you, Rick. Thank you.